Hey everyone, this is Brimster, and this is the 499th normal puzzle video on my channel. Um, and this is Lock Up Your Horses. The setter, bruh, bruh, he's Hercules Mulligan. Um, yeah, so in the Hamilton series, these were a set of puzzles that were created for me to do to celebrate a major event in my life, and I'm now using them to celebrate a major person in my life at a very difficult time, um, bringing the joys that I shared with my father. Um, and uh, while I am unable to record a lot, and when I can, I'm just trying to push things through, um, I will see how things go. Um, I do not know when I'll be recording, how often I'll be recording, or what I'm recording. I do not know when I'll be returning to the problem series. I do not know whether I will ever go back to daily videos. Um, I would say in the next few months, you may get periods where um, I will record half a dozen videos in a single day, and you'll get ha daily videos for six days. And then I may not record anything for a couple of weeks. Um, I may do problem videos for a few days, and then not do them for a week or so. My focus is on my family, my focus is on <laughs> my grieving, um, my focus is on me finding some time to do the other things in life that I loved with and for my dad. Um, I One of the last conversations I had with my father that wasn't Hamilton related was about the D&D &D videos I was doing. And while at the moment it feels horrible to do another one, I need to get back to those. Um, they were my downtime, they were my recreation, and I'm really looking forward to doing more of those and exploring more solo role-playing using some other tools that I found that I was talking to him about. Um, not just because I was talking to him about them, because they're awesome. Um, so I'm things are going to change. Um, my life has changed a lot, um, and the channel is going to change because of that. Um, and feel free to join me for the ride or not. Um, it's the internet. Um, you can uh, find other places. There are other creators. Go to the Puzzle Plaza and find them um, where you can find many other people who can bring you what I have been doing. Um, yeah, please stay with me or, or not. Just please try and be comfortable. That's all I can say. And try and be happy because that's also important. Now, Lock Up Your Horses by Hercules Mulligan. How does this puzzle work? This has one of my favorite constraints in it. And it's one that I am often good at and often not. So we will see how this goes. Normal Sudoku rules apply. This isn't the one. In every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed repetition uh, without repetition. You may think that's my favorite constraint because it's in almost every puzzle, but no, it's this next one. Lockout lines. On lockout lines, um, digits on diamonds must dip the digits on the diamonds on the line must differ by at least four. I can't even click correctly at the moment. So these two digits here must have a difference of at least four. Digits on the line must fall fall outside the bounds of those diamonds. So for example, if these were three and seven, these digits could not be three or seven or in between three or seven. They would have to be outside the bounds of those digits. So that's how lockout lines work. They can take a bit to wrap your head around. They are definitely not the most difficult constraint um, that you will see on my channel or let's, I, I don't think they're that hard at all. It's just people that people confuse them with between lines. It's like between lines are easy. These are harder. I don't think these are much harder than between lines. It's just they are, you see them a lot less often and I'm not sure why because I think they are absolutely genius. Um, one important thing is a diamond terminates a lockout line. So this long line here will end at this diamond, but this diamond is actually the end of two different lines. So that's an important thing to note. Cells separated by a black dot um, will have a one to two ratio. Not all dots are necessarily given. So I'm trying to see if there's an example here, not seeing one, but um, it would be perfectly fine for these two cells to be in a one to two relationship, I assume. I don't know, maybe not. Um, um, and then uh, along thermos, digits must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip. So this digit will be higher than this digit. This digit will be higher than this digit. They cannot stay the same. They cannot decrease. That's what we got. Um, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. 
and this is where I should be banging the table because that's what happens at this moment in the musical. Um, when they changed um, the person who played Mulligan in Australia, it went from Shaka Cook to Sammy Afuni, and I love both of them. They changed their beat rhythm, um, and I had, and I used to sit there and I used to do the beat rhythm on the table during this part. Um, and when it changed, it was like I need to learn a new one, and I eventually did. And I absolutely, I I'm nuts. I'm yeah. Don't get me started on Hamilton. That's not what this is about. If you want to talk to me about Hamilton, maybe I should do a video where I talk about Hamilton at some point and put it unlisted where people who are as nuts as me can go and find it. That would not be fun for most people. So in this box. There is a triple leftover. That's not probably the most valuable place to look, but I'm going to put it in anyway. So one, two, three, four, five, six. These are three, four, and six. Yep, didn't think that was going to get me much. Um, now I can tell this is not going to be three, six. It's going to be from one, two, four, or eight. So there must be a two or a four on this. There must be a four somewhere here, but this still could be one, two with a four there. This is... Um, this has a maximum of eight. This has a maximum of seven. This is absolutely forced. I can't go six, seven, nine, or eight, nine. So this is six, seven, and eight. Um, doo -doo -doo. Can't put four on this dot. Can't put eight on this dot. So it's one, two. This six is calling out to me because this must be four different. So if I went four up, this would be 10. So this must be one or two. Um, and it can't be one. So this is actually a two. And these digits here must all be outside the bounds of two, six. So this is not the four. There is absolutely a four on this. These digits here are all outside the bounds of one, uh, outside the bounds of two and six. So they are one, seven, eight, nine. Now this has to be lower than six. So it's one. There's no nine in these, so these are one, seven, eight. There is no eight here, this is not the eight. There is no seven here, this is not a seven. So this is one, eight, this is one, seven. Um, this here can't be a nine, this can't be a nine, or an eight, because if this was nine, ten, broken there, seven, eight, uh, sorry, if this was eight, nine, this would be broken. I think this is even broken at seven, because seven, this would have to be, can't be six, this would have to be higher than seven, which we need to mean it couldn't be seven or eight. It'd be seven, nine broken. So this is absolutely the one. This is a seven or an eight. So this is an eight or a nine. This is very cool, by the way. I love lock outline so much. Two and seven. So this is not the seven. Um, now this has to be at least four away from two. So four away from two would mean at least six. So this is six or eight. Now, if this, oh, this is so beautiful. If this was eight, this would have to be four and it can't be. So this is six and this is three. And the reason it had to be um, six or eight, let's go back and explain that one. So this had to be four, or at least four away from two. I couldn't go down, I hit negative numbers. So four above means it's six, seven, eight or nine. So let's just put that in six, seven, eight, or nine. Can't be nine for obvious reasons, but there's another reason it can't be either, which is you cannot put seven or nine on a black dot. So half of seven is three and a half, half of nine is four and a half. And if you double, you go outside the range of Sudoku digits. So six or eight. If this is an eight, the only ratio that is within Sudoku digits is four, and I don't have it. So this becomes the six. The only digit that is in a one to two relationship and still within the Sudoku digits is a three. These are all outside the bounds of two and six six, which means these are all one, seven, eight, nine. Um, this is not seven. Uh, these are not one. This is not nine. This is not nine. Actually, these, neither of these are nine. Uh, this is not seven. Now, this is important because it doesn't have two on it. So it can't be one, two or two, four. And it can't be four, eight, because that cell can't be either four or eight. So this is actually three and six, which means th there must be a three in one of those, but it could easily put it on the thermo. Now, if this is a nine, that's a problem. So this is one or eight. If this is eight, this is nine. Is that a problem? Yes, it is, because this is a seven, eight, nine triple. There must be a seven in one of those two, but... 
I cannot put seven, eight, nine in any of those. This is actually a triple. But if this is an eight, this is a nine, and then this is an eight, and this is a seven, and that's got no value. This is a one. There is no one in either of those. This is actually a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, five, and six. There is no six here. So this is a three or a five. So six is in one of those two. There's no five there. Um, now... Do, 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 do. What am I looking at now? Now, four is in one of these. Now, four on a lockout line is an issue normally, because if you put four on a lockout line... Yeah, okay. So if you put four on a lockout line, how do you bound four? No, is that right, or am I got that wrong? If you put four on a lockout line... The digits on the diamonds of the lockout line. So I cannot put four in any of these cells because they see fours. If I was to put four in either of those, these would have to mean that the four is locked out. Now, the only way to do that with digits that are four apart is with five and nine, because I have to make sure if I use a digit lower than four, I don't, then the other digit would have to be negative. And I can't make these five and nine because of the nine. So I can't put four on the line. So there is a four on this and it's not four, eight. So this is actually a two, four pair. Which means there's no four there. That's three, six, and that's four. And these are one... One, not two, three, four, one, five, and seven. Now, one of these is a five. And if one of these is a five, seven's not far enough apart. So this is one and five, and this is the seven. And one and five only locks out six, seven, eight, and nine. So these are six, seven, eight, and nine. There is no seven or nine there. So this is a six, eight pair. So I can take six, eight out of that. The one here, that's pretty damn obvious, five and one. Oh, forever, I've had four fours looking into box five. I could have placed that four right at the beginning, meaning this is two or eight. I... Um... Oh, am I talking too loud? Sometimes I get overexcited. Shoot off at the mouth. I never had a group of friends before. I promise that I'll make you all proud, but maybe not with this puzzle. This is not a one. A three, six pair. That means that this is the five. So this is the three. This is the six, which looks up making this the three and this the six. This is beautiful, by the way. The six, eight pair looks over making this the one. Seven looks down, taking seven out of both of those. We get eight, we get nine, we get eight, we get seven, we get seven. So these are two, five, and eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, two, five, and eight. And there must be a five in them. There's no eight there. I'm probably missing something. Like that eight making that a one. Puts one right there. This eight looks up making that six and that eight. This is just beautiful. One, two, five, and seven. No seven there. No seven there. That's a two, five pair. That becomes a seven. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How blessed am I? This... This is a beautiful lockout line puzzle that demonstrates the techniques of lockout lines. Just, just a simple addition of lockout lines just to do some beautiful work. Um, as an introduction to lockout lines, this is an, there are some amazing intro to lockout line puzzles, and this is, is up there as, as one of the best. And for me to have this as part of this series, I am... Oh, man. Man. Sorry. Stop quoting Hamilton. Um... I won't. I just won't. Not right now. One, two, three, seven, and nine. There's no seven there. There's no seven there. Hello, seven. 
Um, this one, two, three is a five. I could have used row logic for that. These are interesting because they are two, three, and nine. And I can't put two here because there'd be nothing between them and I can't put nine there. But that's a three, nine pair. So that's a two, which makes that an eight, which takes eight out of there and there. Two, five pair is a lock. This six has been looking down here for, I don't know, long enough that I probably could have sung an entire chorus. Or at least had a waitress bring over drinks. Still throwing references. Three, five, and seven. I'm sure Indigo will never see this, so that's okay. Five, seven, take seven out of there. Um, do, 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 do. Seven is in one of, actually, that seven there will do it. That's five, that's seven. The five makes that two and that five. The two looks up making that five and that two. <sighs> Where to look? Um, maybe column eight. I don't know why it's just singing out to me. Four, eight, and nine. So this is an eight, nine pair because I can't put four in this box. I've got to put a four in the column somewhere. That's there. So this eight, nine pair makes this the seven. So this is the one. So this is three, oh, I can never, where does eight go in this row? That's the eight, that's the nine, this is three, nine. Um, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's a six here. So this is the five, this is the six. This is a triple, which is two, eight, and nine. There's an eight, nine in this row. So this is the two, this is the eight, nine. This eight has been looking at this for a while. Burr, I feel like Burr off in the back reading a book while all the action is happening. Uh, three, four. If you want to get any of these references, I believe most of them are available on Disney+. Plus. I am not promoted by Disney+. Plus. It's just where they have Hamilton. Um, available for everyone who has a Disney Plus subscription. Whatever. Um, this is not a paid promotion. I just love the show. This is a five. This is two and nine. And I can't put two lower than three, four. So this is nine. This is two. The nine looks up making this three and nine. The three looks down making this four and three. I think I'm now down to a single box. Four looks up making this two and four. The three looks up making this nine and three, three. I finish with a typo. That's kind of appropriate. That is beautiful. I really loved that one. That was, yep. That was a great puzzle. Um, thank you, Hercules Mulligan, whoever you are. Um, there is definitely a spy on the inside behind that one. Um, and uh, yep, one day he'll be madder, son. Um, that's a very, very weird reference that about three people in the world know. Um, although you can probably figure out the context. You won't know the specifics. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Thank you for helping me along my journey. Thank you, everyone in the community, for being with me at this time. And as always, good luck with your solving.